This is the instructional video for the Natoli Engineering Ultrasonic Wash, Rinse, and Dry Unit. Here we have the Natoli Engineering Ultrasonic Wash Unit. On the front panel, we have three controls the run timer, the timer start and reset. The run timer is for the ultrasonic run time. You start it with the start button and you have a heat power on and off button. When you first set up the machine to run, you need to turn the heat on for approximately 30 minutes prior to installing the tooling. The run timer comes out, shifts out of the Natoli Engineering set for 10 minutes. Depending on the soil level of the tooling, you might need to go to 15. To adjust that, there are four buttons, up or down, based on the digits, seconds, tens of seconds, minutes, and tens of minutes. So we're going to adjust from 10 minutes to 15. Once you get it set where you need it at, switch it over to timer reset, and you'll see your timer reset. Now we're going to insert the tools into the tank. Open the lid. Take your tray of tools and set them in. They rest all the way down to the bottom. For ease of removal, if you let your handles lay back up against the sides of the tank, you're better off. Once the unit is properly heated, turn the start button on. Okay, once the unit is stopped, open the lid, walk over to the French unit. The tooling will go straight from the wash unit to the wrench unit. Here we have the Natoli Engineering Forced Air Dry Unit. On the front controls, we have the main power. Turn it on. The push button illuminates green. You have the timer reset start, timer, heat on and off, and a temperature control. The timer is set factory for 10 minutes and it takes approximately 10 to 15 minutes to dry the tooling when they come out of the rinse tank. The temp control is set for 120 degrees factory setting. It displays the present temperature during normal operation. Select your switch to turn the heat on. Allow the air to heat in it to heat up first. You remove the tooling out of the rinse tank. Let it drain some. Take it into the dryer. And there are hooks on the side of the hanging pack. Close the lid. Activate the dryer button with the start button. As you can hear, this air is now blowing. The timer dictates how long the air blows for. And again, 10 to 15 minutes is the normal drying time. Once the solenoid kicks off and the air is no longer blowing, open the lid. Be careful when you grab the tray, it could be a little warm. Put the tooling out of the unit, and your tools are now clean. 